Hello and welcome back to the Football Chat Podcast. It is episode 79 today and we're going to be talking about the leaked Ballon d'Or rankings. It's quite interesting news this, isn't it? There's an image that's been doing the rounds on social media, mainly Twitter, has to be said, of the leaked Ballon d'Or rankings. It's quite interesting. Now obviously these may not be real, it might just be some guy who has uh, managed to fabricate the, uh, the rankings, now everyone thinks they're real, but we're going to discuss it nonetheless. Hopefully, these are the real ones. But it does beg the hopefully question. Not. Yeah, to be fair, actually, hopefully not. Because it'll be one of those UEFA things where we yeah. sit here for three hours, wait to see who's going to win the Ballon d'Or, who can beat your point. Yeah, fair really enough. But yeah, it, it does beg the question why do the rankings always seem to get leaked? I remember the same thing happening last year where everyone knew who won the Ballon oh, d'Or. Were they real last, were they real last year? Yeah. And there were some fake leaks before, but there was certainly a real leak before the actual Ballon d'Or. Yeah, there's so many leaks, and obviously... Yeah, it's going to be fake ones, it's going to be real ones, but... How many people Yeah. Surely you'd just have... You'd get individual people to count how many votes each person's got. Yeah. And then you'd you'd give one person all the results, and then that sole one person would be responsible. Mm. But yeah, we'll put the image up on screen now. Remember to edit that, Harry, later of the uh, of the Ballon d'Or rankings. They look pretty legit. But we've got some interesting inclusions in there. Most importantly of all, who's won the Ballon d'Or? It's Karim Benzema, apparently. That's fairly well deserved. I mean, does he deserve it? Of course he does. Real Madrid Champions League winners, La Liga winners, probably won the Copa del Rey. I don't know though, so don't quote me on that one. No, didn't. No, they, do they not? Better, oh, yeah, of course. But still, Champions League, La Liga, yeah. pr- pretty good. They're the biggest two prizes. I mean, he captained them to both of them. And no, he's he's obviously no him. major tournament for France. Is he um, Modric? Yeah, no. But I don't think... I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, no major tournament, so France couldn't win anything. Yeah. So, for, in that regard, apparently he got 521 votes. Considering the guy in fifth got 99, that demonstrates how yeah, good Benzema's been this year. Then at P2, Sadio Mane. What? Why? What do you think of this? Well, What's obviously, you've got to think the year that this takes into an account is he's won the AFCON with Senegal. Yeah. Liverpool runners up in both the Champions League and the Premier League. I still don't think he deserves to be second. But I guess if you look at it, he's won three trophies but, last year and got to two, yeah. one, got to one final and came second. When you consider who who votes for these things, yeah. it's international captains, it's um, club captains, it's journalists. He's quite a likable figure, isn't he? Yeah. And he has yeah. done very well this year. And then at third, you've got Vinicius Junior, fourth Salah, fifth Lewandowski. Is that all fair? I think Vinny's done very well. Deserves to be up there. Salah. Salah's won a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup. You got to think that, like, yeah, he scored he, what twenty three goals last season in the Premier League. Yeah, that's quite, but that's quite most good. of them were in the first half of the season, which yeah. isn't in the year periods that we're counting here. Yeah. So a bit of a weird one for me. And Lewandowski had a fine year, but nothing too special. Didn't he break the record? What record? Oh, it was last year. He's broken so many records. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> which one? Yeah. Uh, then at number six, you've got Kylian Mbappe. Oh, That's a, such a weird inclusion for me. French football, obviously, though. They're going to so back their main man. Unbelievable. But That's what I hate. Yeah. I hate the Ballon d'Or. Hate there, it. Yeah, we have always discussed how we're not big fans, but yeah, Mbappe at six, not, not a great pick. Shit, it is biased. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, Benzema win it, Mbappe sixth. Called the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, but I so mean, like Benzema deserves it. Yeah, no. Mbappe sixth is a bit high. Seventh then De Bruyne, eighth is Modric, ninth is Son, and tenth is Thibaut Courtois. I saw this. Um, if these are the real rankings, it'll be the mm. first year that neither Messi or Ronaldo bring the top ten Ballon d'Or rankings well, for a good ten. Well, yeah, from what we can see, Messi's not on here. Yeah. The yeah, so of highlights then Haaland eleventh, uh, Ronaldo twelfth. Which then begs the question: Why is Mbappe? Yeah. Because Actually. you could argue that Messi's done more for him than Mbappe. So I think you can argue. I don't think you could. I think you can. I think Mbappe had a better year last year than Messi. Messi struggled in his first year. But I think you can definitely make the argument that he, that Ronaldo didn't do a lot more. So why is he there and Messi yeah. not? Uh, but Ale got on the list. You've got Mike Mainan, you've got Mares, you've got Kane. Messi could be on the list, by the way. We just can't see all the way down. We can only see the numbers to 14, and That's then we can see some yeah, of the ends of the names. Surely, if you had that picture of the list, surely you'd take pictures of the whole list. 
Yeah. Rather than just one photo of 17 names. Yeah, and well, yeah, you can't believe everything you see, but we're trusting this source mm. today. You never know, but yeah. Mm. Potential Ballon d'Or rankings. In fact, Thierry Courtois 10th. Yeah, do you think someone's had a better year than him? I'd say probably. Sorry, who's had a better year than him? Son. Yes. Luka Modric? I think even Mike Wijnan. What, you think Mike, what, you think Courtois should be lower? So, so I thought you were saying he should be higher. Oh, no. You think he should be lower? I don't... Below Mike Wijnan? Okay, we're not Mike Wijnan. But I just don't see what... Okay, he's on a champion. Wijnan came in 23, by the way. Yeah, he's done quite a lot, then. I was going to say... And he's, he's been absolutely insane. Do you remember him in the final? Yeah. Put us some brilliant saves. The two shots that Liverpool had. <laughs> Cancelo in at 15th as well. There's a lot of City oh, players. I know they won the Come league, on. but... They won the Premier League. That was it. Nothing so, yeah, you got... National, national De Bruyne 7th. How? Haaland 11th. Oh, Bernardo 13th. Oh, Cancelo 15th. Foden 17th. I mean, Mara's in at ERC, 20, I believe. Mara's at 20, that is ridiculous. If, that is, if those are the actual <laughs> rankings, that is ridiculous. So biased. Yeah, there are, some, there are some interesting Algeria, calls here. French links, bias. <laughs> but yeah, some interesting calls there. Who do you think should be second in the Ballon d'Or? What would you, what would be your like top five? Just off the right. dome. We've not prepared um, anything, but Kai Havertz, then right. Cash. <laughs> what is this? No, um, Benzema. Benzema top. has to be up there, yeah, of course. Ooh, this is a tough one. Tough one. Um, Modric. Hmm. Second. Um, can't go around it. Can I? <laughs> Mm. Bayern win it every year it's pointless you can't look at the PSG win, win League 1 every year it's pointless to be fair City win the Premier every year it's pointless yeah. so do you think, think it's interesting that AC Milan had just the one inclusion yeah, Mike my nan down the order Liao Giroud but Liao was injured for large parts Giroud didn't score that many goals but Mike my nan to, as a team they did well but I don't think there were any individuals that stood out, which was the issue. You could say the same for a Leal, uh, not Leal Madrid. You reckon? Benzema, Vinicius, Courtois, they all very much stood out. No. Mon- what? I think you're a Muppet. Do you not remember back to the Champions League at the end of last season? We were going, oh my God, Luka Modric, that ball over the top to Rodrigo. Hey, I'm all meant to Courtois. Courtois was stunning. Was as much as I don't like the guy, he was stunning, especially in that final. I, I, recount, I think Benzema wins it. That's all I can say, really. I don't know who else you put up there because they've all been equally as rubbish. Yeah, it's a tight one, It's, it's it? basically a load of players that have won their domestic leagues but have done nothing else. It's a shame we don't have a award ceremony that is based off the public voting. Yeah. I find that really strange that it's like, yeah, just a couple people get to vote. It's, fair, it's journalists, at, it's captains, and teams it's managers. It's in the Nations right. League. Yeah, but Spain. we've got a Nations League final. And they're still there. But it's interesting that they've not... I know, obviously, they don't Jana, wait until after the World Cup. Which is, but... point, which, is comp- which is stupid. Absolutely stupid. Well, usually the World Cup would be done, wouldn't it? How is that? How... That's also why, I don't... <laughs> why are the rankings being done when they've still got three months of football to play? Well, the, those, those three months will be encompassed in the next one. So that might not even be right. No, in the next Ballon d'Or. Why? It's because year. that's how it works. It's a calendar year. That doesn't work. But it is how it usually works. Ha- right. That calendar year is. So, but when you can go from season. October to December. No, that's not a year. That's what I'm saying. No, but that's not what I'm saying. Well, what is a calendar year? They're like going from September to September ish. Well, that's just stupid. But no, but the Ballon d'Or nominees were announced ages ago, September weren't they? September to September. By that point, just do it for the season. Just, for the, if it's September to September, just do it for the football season. Yeah. It is completely poised. It's a load of bollocks. I'm trying to see the nominees this year. But... Get rid of it, and they should get replace it with Golden Ball. Why? And... Well, a British one, and we just yeah. waffle. Or each nation have one. So the best English player, best Spanish player. Best yeah, I mean, that's called the PFO Players of the Year. 
oh, where yeah, they just go, true. which Man City player has done best this year? That's Premier League, though. I mean, all the yeah. You know, I imagine they do have one, just we don't talk about it. Yeah, you know, you're not actually a British player. They don't play in England. When you want English an English players, player of the year? It's like they do have that. Tomorrow, could, oh, okay. It's just a, an award that no oh, one a European. cares about. Or a world right. Just, okay, no, well, like, Ballon d'Or's already European. You're not seeing anyone in like the US with worldwide. it, Worldwide. I want to say worldwide. Mm. Not call it Ballon d'Or, because that's French. So that's... Not saying I don't mean France. Right, so, so we've got to call it the English name instead, no, 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 no. And call, then that'll be universal. Call it something neutral. Like, what, what, we're going to mix all the languages? Yes. The so, golden ballon foot? That's not going to make any sense, is it? The, the ballon gold Dior. Dior. Yes, you, you've just mixed, German, you've mixed French and English. You don't change your name, right? But get everyone a vote, make it worldwide, let's get all the nations involved. Make it a good I don't think the name is the, is the problem. I'll be honest. I don't think it will go. I really hate it because the Ballon d'Or pisses me off. It should be the Golden Bowl. I don't think it should be the Golden Bowl either. What, what would you call it? Just, just, just gold. <laughs> yes. Just gold. I, just, I think it's the voting system that needs to change. It is, it is rubbish. It's absolute rubbish. I mean, it's not as corrupt as some of the other awards. No. What's the one? The Dubai Soccer Awards. Have you heard about these? That the company behind it is owned by George Mendes, and then all George Mendes's clients won. I guess you were. Uh, well, I'm gonna give you one guess. Who do you think won se- Agent of the Year seven years running? <laughs> Who do you reckon it is? But yeah, so, for, for award shows in general are corrupt. Hopefully. I like the concept of the Ballon d'Or. We get, yeah, I mean, right. we have to have a best player. I'm hoping I those agree. results aren't right. Because if, if, well, if, the, if De Bruyne is fifth well, in the yeah, Ballon d'Or rankings because he won a Premier League. He did do very well in the Manchester derby, though. It's got, got two assists. I could do well against that Manchester United <laughs> defence. I'll tear it apart. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. That's probably all for today. It's not really a long one. Um, we might put another podcast at some point this week if we're uh, um, if we're feeling like it. Yeah. But if not, there will be all the usual content. We've already put out UCL Fantasy. We've still got the FPL and Prime Predictions to come. So, uh, so look out for those. But yes, that is all for today. Make sure to have your say in the comments down below. Do you think these rankings are real? I hope not. And do you think... What, what would you change, basically? Do you think Benzema deserves it? Should Mane be lower? Does he just have to win the Ballon d'Or, potentially, in your eyes? But yeah. Anyone who thinks Mane deserves to win the Ballon d'Or can subscribe and then go watch another channel. Okay, right. That is all for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. We'll see ya.